Mr. Callaghan takes teachers to task. As the Prime Minister yesterday criticised teachers for taking protest action after referring their dispute to arbitration, more schools were forced to close because of unruly behaviour by pupils left without supervision at lunchtime. Mr. James Callaghan said in the Commons, When I was a trade union negotiator it was the principle that when a matter had been referred to arbitration, you awaited the verdict of the arbitrators before you took action. Teachers' refusal to supervise lunches and other school activities has led to a wave of pupil unrest. In one Warwickshire school, 50 children, including girls, who barricaded themselves in a classroom were each given two or three strokes of the cane yesterday. 24 of the 30 pupils who barricaded themselves in a classroom at Sir Harold Wilson's old school, Royds Hall Secondary School at Paddock, Huddersfield, on Wednesday, were each given two strokes of the cane. For others who refused punishment were suspended and the other two have not returned to school. The Cane children were aged from 12 to 16 and included four girls. Three schools in Telford New Town, Salop, were closed for a cooling off period after education officials had said control over the pupils had been lost. A Leicester school was closed because its headmaster said the pupils had been acting like hooligans. Police officers were called to the school after a window had been broken and a girl injured by glass. At Highton, Liverpool, a schoolboy was arrested for alleged breach of the peace when about 200 pupils demonstrated against the teacher's sanctions. Stones were thrown at a police car. At Canvey Island, Essex, council staff were locked in their offices for protection when 300 children attempted to storm the building in protest against mill sanctions imposed by teachers at Furtherwick Park Secondary School. The pupils demonstrated outside the school and then marched over a mile to the Castle Point District Council offices, where they battered on windows, chanting and shouting. The police marshalled them onto the pavement and they went back to school, singing defiantly. In Belfast yesterday the police questioned 25 pupils of Ashfield Grammar School about incidents on Wednesday when it was alleged that pupils from the school went on a rampage in Hollywood, Co Down. Between 60 and 70 pupils were estimated to have been involved. Some summonses are to be issued. Teachers at some Norfolk schools relaxed sanctions yesterday so that children should not be turned out into the snow during lunch hour. Mr Fred Jarvis, General Secretary of the National Union of Teachers, said yesterday, I deplore the type of hooliganism that has occurred in one or two places, but it will not make us alter our plans at all. The teachers involved in the sanctions have opted to go to arbitration after rejecting a 9% pay offer. No date has yet been fixed for the arbitration to begin. Some teachers' leaders believe that sanctions would